He was a maritime explorer who played a crucial role in establishing the Catholic faith in the Philippines. He is known for discovering and plotting an easterly route across the Pacific Ocean. His name is Andres de Urdaneta. In the annals of maritime exploration, there are figures whose remarkable journeys have had a profound impact on the world. One such luminary was Andres de Urdaneta, a Basque explorer for the Spanish Empire who became an Augustinian friar. Born in the Basque region, Urdaneta's thirst for discovery led him to accompany the Loaisa expedition to the Spice Islands at the tender age of 17. Over the course of more than eight years, he immersed himself in the rich cultures and exotic landscapes of this distant land. Around 1540, Urdaneta settled in New Spain, present-day Mexico, and embraced a new calling as an Augustinian friar in 1552. However, his insatiable spirit of exploration continued to burn within him. In response to the request of Philip II, King of Spain, Urdaneta joined the Legazpi expedition, which aimed to establish Spanish presence in the Philippines. It was during this expedition that Urdaneta made a momentous discovery. In 1565, he charted an easterly route across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, navigating from the Philippines to Acapulco in the Viceroyalty of New Spain. This groundbreaking route proved to be a game-changer, enabling Spain to colonize the Philippines and establishing a vital trade link between the two regions. Known as the Manila Galleon Trade Route, this path would be utilized for over 200 years, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures between the East and the West. But Urdaneta's contributions extended beyond his navigational achievements. He played a pivotal role in the establishment of the Catholic faith in the Philippines, sharing his beliefs and fostering a deep connection with the local population. His compassionate treatment of the Philippine natives earned him the title of Protector of the Indians, a testament to his commitment to justice and respect for indigenous cultures. Andres de Urdaneta's expeditions and legacy continue to resonate through the annals of history, forever altering the course of human exploration and shaping the destinies of nations. His unwavering spirit and dedication to discovery serve as an inspiration to all who dare to venture into the unknown, leaving an indelible mark on the world. At the age of 17, Andres de Urdaneta joined the Loaisa expedition as a page to Juan Sebastián Elcano. The expedition was commissioned by Emperor Charles V to secure a Spanish foothold in the Spice Islands and the lucrative spice trade. The voyage was treacherous, with two ships deserting and four lost to storms in the Pacific. The crew suffered from scurvy and both Loaisa and Elcano died. Urdaneta played various important roles during the expedition. He acted as an emissary, led reconnaissance missions, and fought against the Portuguese for control of the islands. However, during one battle, he was severely burned by a gunpowder explosion, leaving him permanently disfigured. The Spaniards fought a losing battle against the Portuguese for control of the Spice Islands, unaware that the Treaty of Zaragoza had recognized Portuguese control. In 1534, the surviving members of the expedition were repatriated by the Portuguese. Urdaneta left the Spice Islands on a Chinese junk and eventually made his way back to Europe on a Portuguese spice ship. Upon reaching Lisbon in 1536, Urdaneta's maps and journals were confiscated. Fearing for his safety, he fled to Spain. In Valladolid, he was interviewed by the Council of the Indies and wrote a detailed report on the expedition. Despite the Council's satisfaction with his report, Urdaneta was only awarded 60 gold ducats for his 11 years of service. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.